Hello, it's the devil here again. Uh, this video about, is about Amplitube and we're just gonna go to the basics. So all the stuff you can do here and then in the next episode we're actually gonna make some sound or uh, sound other than this default sound. So first things first, what I would do if it's your first time using this one is uh, go here and check out your settings. Uh, you want to uh, use your uh, audio interface. I have a Focusrite second generation Scarlett and the sample rate is set at 48,000 buffer size there we go and you can see it here the input output devices are selected and there's also uh, option for media devices uh, we, we're not going to use those now but uh, that will be another video uh, then there's preferences uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, we don't want to use this it would bypass the cabinet we use uh, control here's where you where you can uh, mess with if you use a media device you can mess with it here uh, we'll look into that in another video uh, then if you have a iRig which I don't you can uh, mess around with in here some info blah 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 and uh, lastly my account but here's the most important part after that uh, this is our uh, main where we sculpt our sound add, add uh, pedals change the amp change the cap add some rack effects all that uh, but let's get into that after we check out uh, more options so uh, of course a good thing after you done your checked out your settings is to hook up your guitar and <laughs> sure you have sound so and when you do I would see that my input level is uh, good and it seems so we want to keep it so that it doesn't clip and by clipping there we go we don't want to see red there so let's take it back uh, then same with the output. Uh, we don't want it to clip because that sounds uh, ugly. Then uh, after that, of course, you want to play in tune. So we have a tuner. It's this icon here. Here you can power it up, and there's a small window which will they'll then tell you if you're in tune. So that's a bit sharp. And if we want to see the a bigger window you can go here and then there's uh, the easy mode which is so the A is a bit sharp let's tune that. there we go and then there's the advanced option which yeah there we go gives you a so now we're a bit flat Let's get out of here and click the amp. There we go, out of the tuner. So we're in tune. We got sound. And then what do we want? We could uh, mess, mess with the sound uh, and turn the knobs on the amplifier, but we're not gonna do that now. Instead, let's see what we have here. So. We can click this, and we can 
see all our presets or we could click this and see all our presets and we could if we want uh, change our sound by loading a preset you can see that everything in here changed uh, let's bring back the default there we go uh, and then we have this section here which we are in so and we also have ooh, this looper section I don't use it I'm not going to and then if you would want to play live there's an option for that uh, then we have tone net and it's not if when you click it you can actually go and I like this feature a lot because if I uh, hear a sound I like uh, an artist uh, for instance I can just go here and like here we have sack wild I'll see clean sound someone's made a, a a preset for it which we can then click and download and now we can see the signal chain in there and we could play that sound and you can actually search here for every anything you want like Jimmy you know as simple as that and now you got uh, you know artist preset fox lady all that sort of stuff but yeah let's not do that back to the default and out of the tone net but yeah I, I use that a lot really nice in here you can go to the IK, IK multimedia site and uh, let's not click that and then uh, let's see this sec section here no not yet actually uh, let's mm, do this one so in here we also have a metronome which is a handy tool if you want to you know uh, practice your timing you can click it on and then you can change the tempo by just tracking your mouse left or right just hover click on it and or you can tap there we go and change the time signature uh, you can pitch up uh, change the playback speed off we actually have this uh, this here so there's a small like a door in here uh, you can record to and uh, amplitude on channel one is activated so when you you can change your uh, input in here and yeah so we have that but in another video we can uh, look at it a bit more but then uh, this section so right now you have this Brit 8000 which is uh, JCM 800 model by amplitude we have a cabinet JCM 800 and uh, we could this here will give you options we have an option for two amps two caps or even three amps three cabinets or two amps uh, running uh, separate signals this is uh, you know this is one signal here then it splits to two and yeah so and that's your basic uh basic like single chain is here from the amp to the cap and then out so and uh, like we saw there's the tuner uh, then there's a di signal for if you want that for some reason you can use it and it just goes past uh, the amp then this button here gives you the same options as these and this one here 
uh, one amp to two cabinets. Uh, and then this section brings up your mixer. And you can do lots of stuff here. Uh, but let's not get into that right now. Uh, first, let's check this section. So in here, if you would want, you can change your uh, amplifier. And I have the amplitude max here. So I have plenty of options to choose from. It changes the cabinet also the according one and then we have the cabinet section here and there's lots of options in here also and I can just change the cabinet by clicking cabinet on and then and now it changes just the cabinet instead of you know the amplifier and the cab and then in here we have uh, all the pedals and adding pedals to your signal chain is like with the real amp you just uh, drag uh, let's take some let's take OCD and put it in front of the amp there we go and I'm gonna turn it off because I get some hiss so it's as simple as that and you can just drag war in there and now that we have it cho uh, it's chosen so then we can just click and change the pedal if we want same with here when we have this we can do that yeah all right and then of course uh usually your modulation and time-based effects which are uh delays reverbs flanger chorus all that kind of stuff you want them on the fx loop of the amp and that happens like this you drag them here so now we have a delay there and same thing we could just change it to a different one by clicking here when it's chosen and then we have this final section here and this is uh, rack effects and we have this section here which is uh, uh, let's take a delay in there so we can put it in here and now when we click this mixer icon we can see that it's in the master uh, section inserts and we could drag it here and then it's in the bus so and there's uh, more slots in here than in here and then we've gone through that so let's dig a bit deeper uh, into these so the cabinet section has some like additional uh, options and the options are uh, to choose the speakers you have in your cabinet and these are uh, I would say the thing that will affect your sound the most and I'm gonna demonstrate that in the next video so as you can see you can choose the speaker and then change it so you can have a different combination but you can just mic up too so keep that in mind but you can track these mics to uh to the lower or upper caps and then we have jumped to the mic section so you can choose different mic microphones to the, and you can just click on it again and choose another microphone if you would like same with here just take something different and then 
of course, if you want to sculpt your sound more, you can change the position of the microphone. Uh, in the middle of the cone, it's uh, in the middle of the element, uh, it's much more brighter, so you get more highs, and in here, less. And you can also drag the whole microphone further or closer. And then you have room mics, you can move them around if you would like. And the last thing is the room. You can actually change the whole room. And in here you have the mix section. It's the it's it's the same thing as this basically, but uh, the view is a bit different. So, but you can you can do things in here too. You can uh, pan. So this mic would be on the left monitor or on the left uh, if you use headphones on the left. And this one would be on the right. You can change the volume of the room sound. And, you know, that sort of stuff. And... I think that's uh, that's it with the, you know, we've basically, oh, and this one here, you can search any gear you, you would, if you have something in mind, you can try and do a search, but this little icon here lets me know, here are the amplifiers I don't have in my collection, I could buy them, uh, here are the, uh, you know, Pedals I don't have in my collection, the cabinets, and yeah, I have all the rack stuff. So, um, and now it would show all of the, all of the stuff you can have, uh, including the stuff I don't have and I do have. Uh, so I like to keep it. It just just shows the stuff I have. Because why would I choose anything I don't have? Well, you can try them out, actually, if you want. But yeah, that's the basic of basics of Amplitude. We've gone all, all through all the settings, and in the next video, we'll start to tweak and do some actual play. Have fun. Bye.